What's up guys, Headphones Neil here, back with an Android app review, and in this case it's going to be a music player or mp3 player that I've been using for a couple of weeks now because I was able to get the full version on sale via a New Year sale I guess, but I had some credits, it was on sale, so I decided to give it a shot to see if it's an app that I would like, and I want to say that so far I'm pretty impressed and I haven't found any major issues with using it. And over the course of this review, I'll share as my reasons why I think it's a good Android version of the old Windows MP3 client called Winamp. So let's jump right into it. So the app itself is called PowerAmp. It does come with a two-week free trial for the full unlock version. So once that ends, you do get limited features. So I don't think you can install skins or use a full equalizer, but most features are available to use. The pro version is the version I'll be reviewing here so that you guys can see um, how it works out. So as you can see, I was, for me at the moment, I was use, um, listening to my music on shuffle and I was on a, ha a Hamilton track, but um, jumping into the easy part of the app, once you touch the square down at the bottom left, you can jump into your library so you can easily hit shuffle, jump to a specific track. Um, set particular folders for folder selection or if you want to look for a, spe a specific album in your library or look for, search by a particular artist or play a playlist then you can easily do that so not much else to say there in that button as far as um, switching between tracks you can obviously use the various buttons or you can um, swipe on the album art uh, from here you can also look at various track information so if you want to view the album art or change it um, look at the information and tags and you can do that um, you can view the artist um, if you want to look at that information um, and various other stuff from the main screen um, and then also if you want to uh, enable or disable the visualizer set your sleep timer set your shuffle options that's all available for you as well down there um, on a related note, you can also, by touching the search button, you can search for various uh, music in your um, library. So if you want to look, look like if I want to search for a Star Wars song or if I want to look for a song by Busta Rhymes, then I can do that. So um, a very good search option um, that's available and you can adjust the search and list options as well if you want to do that. The main feature that power amp prides itself on or one of two features that power amp prides itself on is its equalizer so once you go into the equalizer which is this button button down here on the the second button from the left on the bottom you can adjust your various um equalizer options and from there if you basically once you have it set um you can leave it as, as is but let's say um, you want to save it or use it for in specific situations, then you just hit save and you can set when you want the preset to work. Um, or if you mess up or you want to start from the beginning again, you'll just hit the reset button and it'll let confirm that you want to do that and you're all set. Um, you can also set your um, bass and treble options. So if you um, want to adjust that bass on the track, then you can do that as well. Um, you can um adjust various other things um if you want to adjust the limit tone and all of that so that's also something that's available um there's middle icon now so at the top of the screen that i was looking on the first tab now if you go to the middle tab you can adjust the balance so if you want to go to your left or right headphones or want to turn one side off or another or want to favor one side or another you can do that as well you can expand or um limit your stereo or how much your stereo is enabled or disabled um, if you want to adjust your volume you can do that on screen or just use your on screen volume buttons so that's also an option um, and then you can also adjust various other features like your dampness filter fade pre-delay and all of that so i don't really use all of that too much at the moment but i'm still playing around with it just to see if how it goes when i'm listening based on specific tracks um, so that's all there is for as far as the main UI for the app. Um, as far as the settings though, they're pretty straightforward. There, they are qu quite a few of them. Um, I'm gonna do the look and feel last because um, while it is my favorite, it, um, it does have a few features to show off. Um, 
But continuing on what the app offers as far as functionality on your audio manipulation, it, you do have audio control so you can just, uh, view um, track information. Um, you can adjust your crossfade, fade, and gapless pay playback. So if you want to um, have um, fading between tracks, manual fading, uh, fading on seek, silence between tracks and things like that you have that option you can set your replay gain if you want to um, set things like that to prevent clipping um, audio focus so if you get a phone call it'll fit you want it to resume playback when the call ends um, the number of bands in your equalizer so i have mine set to 32 but if you want more or less you can do that and if you want custom bands you can set that for more control there, uh, smooth equalizer and tone gains, resampler setting, direct volume control. So the app has all sorts of different um, audio control options so that you can set your audio to whatever you like. So whether you have a specific tone you like or if you listen to specific music and you want to set your equalizer accordingly, then the app op offers all those options. Um, you can also set a visualizer if you want a, um, like the bars to go up and down, so very reminiscent of the Winamp visualizer. Not necessarily some of the plasma looking ones, but more of the bars that would go up and down to show playback was going in, going on. You can set um, um, even HD performance, so if you want a higher quality looking bands, you can do that, but it does adjust, uh, affect your system performance. So. Remember to toggle that if you are on a lower power device or an older device as well. Um, you can set your blur or background blur options. So if you want uh, more, um, if you want like uh, a background blur based on your album art, you can set that. I just have my set to the default black, so there is that. Um, but you can set high resolution images, um, downloading uh, images from the internet if you want that, and to set it on. Wi-Fi only, um, API compatibility, so if you want um, other music apps to, or other um, services on your device to um, be able to read the album art and track information, then that's also available. Um, the ability to rescan um, your library, um, sets, custom folders, and things like that, search options, and categories, so and queuing options. Um, if you want to um, um, adjust your queue and how that affects when you see you add new tracks and things like that. Um, I'm still messing around with that as far as playlists go because like when I play it black, I'm back on some playlists, for example, sometimes it goes to a prior song that's not in that playlist, but the options are all there. Um, you can also set your lock screen options, so um, various things. Um, features there um, and so the final feature that I like the most in the app is the ability to set custom skins so um, you can see that there's various um, options as far as general playback features and stuff like that but you can also set a, um, so the app itself comes with a default light and dark skin but you can also purchase skins from the Google Play Store to change how your um, how the app looks so the uh, version of power amp that you're looking at here is a, a custom uh, skin called live dark but once you switch to let's say for example i'm going to use the dark skin then once i go back you'll see that uh, um <clears throat> the look of the app changes there's no accents the buttons change as well so the equalizer look and feel has changed the buttons look a little bit more plain and basic so once you're doing that um <clears throat> the options to adjust adjust accordingly and there's a lot fewer options and it's similar for the light one it's and if you want to set a custom look based on your light and dark options you can do that but for me i found browsing around the google place where i like the live dark theme um just because you can set for example the corners of the album art um, you can adjust the font size as well as the font itself so i have it set to ubuntu but you can see like roboto and their default system font a cyber font that looks more compute like a computer font um, you can adjust your accent color so you can see all these different color options here um, background color if you want more than just a default black uh, what your library options look like 
and labels and things like that so that's just one particular skin that's available so now going back you'll see that um, my equalizer uh, buttons have changed all the knobs have changed the icons in my library th um, items have changed so all sorts of stuff there so going into the Google Play Store all you have to do is search for Power Amp V3 skins that's the current version of Power Amp so you'll see all sorts of different options <clears throat> some are free some are paid so the thing to notice here is that is the day or date when the the skin was updated so if you're looking at a slightly older skin so let's say for example this Power Amp Blue Carbon last updated August 19th so in general it should work better with the new later versions of power amp or even on bigger devices but when you are using or if you do or do end up buying a paid um, skin be sure to check the date that it was last updated but also to make sure that works on your device if you are using a bigger um, device uh, so the thing to do is just like you saw me doing with the live dark is play around with the skin settings make sure that your fonts um, and text and all of that show up um, like they should because on some of the skins for me um, I was using an older one that I liked a lot but some of the text was getting cut off halfway down so for example the now the all songs text was halfway playlist was cut in half and all of that so I don't know why I reached out to the Videl developer haven't heard back yet because I kind of did like that one that particular skin um, but because of that it made it weird to work with so I did play around a little bit or search around a little bit more and um, I found live dark so that's kind of why I'm going with that one it does look nice it has a um, good um, customization option color options and all of the text looks good as well and I didn't haven't found any issues and it's regularly updated as well so overall um, a good enough um, uh, skin or a very good skin and very good looking skin so that's really all there is for this particular review so if you have any questions comments concerns or anything like that you can find me on twitter at patel n01 the website's patel n01.com for uh, past episodes subscription links and all of that good stuff but thanks for tuning into this particular review and until next time